Okay, hi, how are you guys? So now we have a project for ECE 373 one course, which is microprocessors and embedded systems. So the project is going to be about seven segments and LED. So this is part one of the video. We are going to talk about the board, how we connect it to the computer, how we set up the installation for the board, and to run like just a test code to see if it's going to work or not. So the first thing we are going to talk about the board. This is the board the CS12. Uh, specifically, we are using this board to run codes for uh, an assembly language, run the program using Code Warrior software, and check the result if we are doing like the right and correct code, or if we have to uh, edit and change a couple things. So the first thing, we can use this board using a USB FireWire connected to the computer. So we connect this to the display. Then we connect the other end in the USB using the computer. And after that, we see that the screen is on. So that means the connection is right. But we have, before run or do any test, we have to make sure that uh, it's connected to the right common port so basically we go to the this, com this PC which is my computer and do right click and go to the properties then we go to the device manager Okay, then we see all the connections for different hardwares of the computer. And we see this is the ports, COM and LPT. So we see that the board is connected to COM3. This is important because we are going to use this board and the software Code Warrior to run the test code. Now I'm just going to run a multiple test, then in the second part of the video we are going to talk about how we did set up the program and write the code in assembly language. So I'm just going to run it and show you how the board works. So basically this is the Code Warrior software, and this is the code part, and we see there is a play debug button over here. We click on it. Then it will run. Sometimes we get an error because where the software is using different ports so we have to change the ports and make sure it's the same as the one we checked earlier from the device uh, manager which is COM3 because I already did the setup for COM3 so it worked without any problem but if you will get an error make sure to change the port make it match it to the one in device manager and we can run the program from here and we check the result on the board and again we are using the seven segments on the board which is this one plus the LEDs there is LEDs inside each segments of the four segments so that means we have to deal with the LEDs and the seven segments for this project okay guys so right now we are in the second part of the video which we are going to talk about how we set up the assembly code for this project so uh, as I said in the first part, this project is about the seven segments and LED. So this design over here is for each segment we are using and it's showing the LED, seven LEDs for each one. So basically if we want to run this line, that, that means we have to make this LED A, set it one bit and we take the hex code and we set up that in the code warrior software using the programming so basically in this uh, project we are displaying trying to display the letters a n i s which will give us an e sword so we have to figure out for each letter what's going to be the bits and what's going to be the hex number so we can use it for display so basically for a we are using this digits which will give us 77 hex N I S which will give us 37 hex or 6 hex and 6 D hex 
that's the first part to figure out what number we want to number digits or letters we want to display on the segments then the second part it was about just writing the code in assembly language so basically we are using this code warrior software to write the code and the code the first part of the code is to define display table which is the digits or the letters we want to display and over here it's saying dc.b which is defining a one byte for port b the leds and select the specific segments we want to display on the second part of the code was about to write the code first part is to define and uh, activate port b which is responsible about the leds inside each segment and then activate port b which is the segments then we have to make a loop that will take each uh, digits hex digits from the table display table from port b and port b then will display it with delay we can specify the number of delay so we set up for one that means we won't see any de delay because it's really it's going to be very fast so it's like there is no delay but if we change this number we can see delay like if we change it to 250 or 500 uh, the, the the display will be like uh, each digit one by one until you get the full word so right now we are going to run the code and multiple times so we make sure that we are doing the right thing so basically we just go to the debug button and run the code then we hit we hit display and we come to the board we see over here the digits that's displayed on the segments the so the first uh, digits as we said it's a which is hex 77 second digits which is n which is hex 37 then o6 hex which is uh, closer to 1 or i then almost closer to s which is 6d hex and over here that's showing we we, uh, we did use the seven segments display with leds for this board thank you